Hey guys, uh, it's not a boy here, and uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you and introduce you uh, to many buttons. So this one, it looks like a combo box or a choice box, uh, but it is a button, and it contains a number of many items. So you can add a list of many items uh, to to give like a list of many items. If you have so many items, like ten items, and uh, uh, those are only many items. I'm not talking about choices or uh, a list of uh, items uh, like. Uh, names or anything but many items uh, like file uh, view edit and you have to place it in a form like in a choice box like in a uh, drop down menu uh, menu this is what you do so uh, this is a menu menu so these are many items and uh, these are many buttons so many buttons look alike to combo box or choice box so uh, but when you select anything you can just put some commands into these menu items into this uh, menu items that are inside the menu button. So, this is a menu button, and I'll show you how you can do menu buttons in JavaFX and FXML. So, direct, we'll create a new project. Sorry, uh, uh, file, new project, uh, JavaFX, uh, JavaFX ML application, select next. Then, let us call our project menu button. And click finish. So here we go, we have an FXML file, uh, we have a controller class file, and we have the main class file. And I always call it the Java main class file because it has the main method. Uh, uh, and Java is all about methods. So expand everything here, and then let us open this FXML file in the scene builder. Because it is in the scene builder where we will be facing. This is JavaFX and FXML. FXML is much more easier than just coding JavaFX. Uh, because you will be using most of the interface will be designing using the the same builder. So select the button on the label, uh, delete it. So select this anchor pen, and you can resize it. Uh, after doing that, now. Uh, uh, we want to create a simple uh, exam management system where you can activate uh, the exam registration or deactivate the exam registration and you'll be submitting whatever has been done to something like uh, to a screen uh, and you'll be using a text field as a screen. So right away, uh, let's search for VBOX. So uh, VBOX and drop it into the anchor pane and then feed it to the parent. And then after doing that now, uh, uh, we will need a menu button. So menu and then select menu button. So drop this menu button into the VBOX. And then after doing that now, type uh, some uh, text uh, value uh, in this menu button and like say, uh, update uh, exam uh, registration. So it will be updating the exam registration. And then that's it. Uh, you can decide to increase the size and even change the font if you want. So I'll be changing the font. Uh, so let us change and uh, I'll choose book antica. Expand the size to something like uh, 22. Uh, that is it. So I'll just registration. Uh, so that here we go and then now select this view box first come to the alignment and align everything to the top center or the center, top center sorry. Uh, that's it and then now select the menu bar again the menu button sorry and then come to the layout and we will give this layout uh, a margin of 20 uh, on all sides and then now after doing that now uh, we will come to the code in this uh, the same menu uh, button and then now expand this menu button and we have uh, two menu items so you can decide to add a number of menu items as long as you want so the first menu item i'll give it uh, so, uh, uh, first of all i'll set the text i'll just write like activate the exams and then the, start, the second one will be like uh, deactivate exams. 
exams so that it, so select the first menu item activate exams and come to your, and place some on action event and uh, let us say uh, activate that will be the name of our method and the second one will give it the method deactivate so after doing that now uh, we need a text where we'll be displaying the values so I'll just type in here text so text field I'll place a text field into this v box uh, and then uh, below the menu item uh, the menu button and then after doing that now let us expand this uh, text field something like that and then I'll give this uh, this text field uh, screen the FX ID screen and then come to the properties uh, while still selecting that uh, text field and then check this editable uh, so that it is not editable and now check this most transparent property so once you have checked it now come to the layout and let us give this uh, text field uh, a margin of 20 on all sides so uh, once that has happened now we can uh, decide even to resize this uh, the height of the of our window so this is a very simple application to just introduce you about menu buttons and show you how now the menu buttons the difference from a menu button and a, from an a combo box and a choice box is that menu buttons hold menu items inside them uh, but uh, most of some, some of the things uh, look alike so after doing that now uh, let us like this and uh, come back to netbeans and then the fxml file now make the controller so when you make the controller it makes the changes in the controller class file. Uh, so uh, it so remember we have added some menu items so when you come and you make a controller it, it, it updates us uh, uh, first of all it, whatever has been deleted loses the effects annotation here and then after doing that now we have activate method activate and deactivate so activate meaning that someone selected the activate activate exams menu item so here we are displaying it on the screen that set text and uh, we'll say uh, show like uh, exams has been activated so make sure you master this point because uh, in a later class uh, I have done I will be showing you now how you can uh, I'll just I'll go to this to this other part so uh, in a later exam uh, as i was saying in a later exam, uh, a tutorial i'll be showing you now how you can really make a real application of a exam registration management system where you can activate using this menu item uh, and deactivate the exams uh, using the same uh, menu item uh, menu button sorry menu button so you can be using this one so what you have seen i've uh, placed some screen dot set text exams has been activated and when someone clicks this i've just copied the entire text here that changes the the value that we be set in the, in the in the menu item so exams has been deactivated so here exam has been activated so let us see if this application will work according to what we had uh, planned so let us build the application So for building the application, come to the menu buttons here and then run the file. So here we go. When you and you can see uh, our menu items, and let us select this menu item, and you can see a message has been displayed. Uh, exam has been deactivated because we chose another we chose another menu item and uh, when you select and you can, another thing you can see the difference between this and a combo box is that when you select this item it doesn't overrule the message that is here it just the the, the label here of that example installation uh, still remains the text inside it so uh, this is the menu item and uh, uh, it is very important maybe for applications where you have a long list of menu items and uh, you the, the space provided in the window is very minimal you can decide to use a menu button because uh, it's just the same with another menu only that in this part uh, the menu items are uh, in form of a list so 
Uh, but when you select them, it will just perform what any other menu item could perform. So a menu button contains a list of menu items. So that was it about uh, menu buttons. Hope you learned something. Hope you learned how to uh, add the menu items in in a menu in, in a menu button, and how you can now set some uh, methods in the same menu buttons and menu items. So that was it about uh, this tutorial. So thank you for watching this video. Hope you learned something. Uh,